Auxiliary view. In this tutorial we're going to look at auxiliary views. Up to now we've only considered views that are either right, top, bottom, left or behind a component. But sometimes when we have a component there's a specific face that runs at an angle and when we are drawing a right view or a top view we're actually distorting the information that we see on that angle. So if you look at the right I don't see a circle there but I see a kind of oval shape which is how I would see the circle if I'm looking from this direction. In the same way from the top if I have this top view and I'm looking at the circle it looks like an oval not in its true shape. So an auxiliary view is a view that I can use to work with a diagonal face to get a true shape of what that looks like. So that will typically be what the true shape looks like that I actually want to see. So how do I do this? In the same way that I have a right view on the right, top, top, bottom, bottom, left, left, the auxiliary view will lie in line with how I look at it. So I'm looking in this direction. So in that same line, that's where the, aux the auxiliary view will lie. I know how big the auxiliary view is and remember the point of the auxiliary view is to take away any distorted images. So I'm not going to draw the rest of the block. I'm literally only drawing the side that I see on this face. So I know already what the size of it is and then I can use what they call a reference line just to help me with the construction. If I say this is my reference line and I say this part will be on the reference line, I know that it's this thick from this point to that point and I know the distance is about if I'm just guessing because it's half of this size and I can draw that block. On the inside of the block I know there's a circle so I can extend that center line if I know where the circle is I can draw in the circle on this face and that gives me an indication of where the circle needs to be. So only this, this is the only thing you need to have for an auxiliary view. It's literally only the view that you see on this face that is at a diagonal angle. So it's just an additional view that we often add if we have a face that's lying at an angle to make it easier for us to see what the true shape needs to be.